I graduated from my MBA in March this year and this occasion today has provided me with the opportunity to reflect on the fun and absolute madness of combining around four years of part-time study and full-time work and I've been asked to share what I learned. I commenced the MBA without a specific career goal in mind but knew I wanted something more than where I was at the time so worked hard in order to maximise the options available to me hoping I'd figure it out along the way. From a young age, I could never answer the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? But I really, really wished I knew. The first thing I learned during my MBA was notice during your studies the parts that really excited you. There were three moments in my MBA that really stand out. During an economic management lecture about value chains, I realised I'd found something I really loved. Thinking about value chains, analysing value chains, players in value chains, movement along value chains. One lecture and an essay question and exam was not enough for me and my relationship with value chains. I didn't want it to end. Unrelated to my love of value chains, the business school dean invited a group of students to lunch in the BHP Billiton boardroom with the president of a business unit and his leadership team. The people were so dynamic and the conversation fascinating. I knew I wanted to work around these sorts of people. Lastly, during strategic management, we studied in detail a new case every week, a new organisation and management challenge. This variety, intensity of thought, bouncing between industries and high level of strategic problems really excited me. So from my MBA, I finally learnt what I wanted from my career. My second piece of advice, and it's this may be stating the obvious, was to play nice with everybody. The impression your classmates have of you can change your career. As luck would have it, upon graduation, I was facing an impending role redundancy due to an organisational restructure at NAB. Not only was my team and direct report surplus to requirements, the restructure included the dissolution of the retail strategy team I'd really been hoping to join. I remembered the advice of a UWA MBA alumnus had given during the orientation lecture. Speak to people you meet during your studies. They can help make your next career move happen. My classmates certainly came through with introductions and opportunities, providing far more effective and proving far more effective than responding to job advertisements. And my last piece of advice is dream big and proactively chase it. We all know it wasn't easy putting in consistent effort across all subjects, but the opportunities it creates are worth it. Staying up until you see the sun to turn a paper from a distinction into a high distinction hurts. And at all costs, find a way to get the maximum performance from your teammates in group assignments. Everyone has something to contribute. Find a way to bring the best out in people you're working alongside. At UWA, we're lucky to be taught by fantastic lecturers who inspired my learning, and I take this opportunity to thank them for their enthusiasm, knowledge, and engaging content. My MBA dream was to be able to answer the question, what do you want to do when you grow up? And actually begin doing it. I now have the best job in Perth as a consultant at the Boston Consulting Group where I'm beginning to experience on a daily basis the highlights package from my MBA. We're so lucky to live in Perth right now. There's an amazing opportunity out there with your name on it. A UWA MBA provided the key. I really encourage you to put the effort into turning it.